Hi guys, it's Pixie and welcome back to Little Kelly and Friends Toy Channel. Today I am joined again by Emily. Hi guys! And we are going to be looking at Project MC Squared H2O Nail Science Kit. How awesome! What do you think Emily? I think it looks so cool, I can't wait to decorate my nails! We're going to have so much fun, let's get started! So guys, here is the front of the box. How awesome does that look? We get to make so many awesome designs and styles of nails. And Emily's gonna have her nails painted all lovely. Emily, are you so looking forward to that? I can't wait, my nails do need a bit of a makeover. Excellent. And here is the back of the box. So, so cool. And it comes with an air dryer as well, so you don't have to take for ages to get your nails dry. So that is awesome. Let's get started. So guys, here is the MC Squared Nail Varnish uh, H2O Science Kit, all out of its box. And this here, the purple device, is the air dryer. So the little button here you press and you put your nail in and it blows air onto your nail to dry them. Then we have little stands here to put your pots of nail varnish in. This is a little beaker that you have the water and you put water inside this and these are the little droplets that you drop in your nail varnish to make your designs. Then we have a little stick here as well and you can mix up the, the nail varnish to make it like a marble effect or you could design a flower or something like that. We'll play around with that later on, Emily, won't we? Yeah. And then we have some false nails that they can just, they just actually uh, fall off like this. You can just pick them off. And these are little adhesive stickers that you stick onto your nail so the nail will stick to your finger. And obviously instructions. What this kit does not come with is any nail varnish. So you have to have some nail varnish that you can borrow or you might have your own or you have some nail varnish from a family member or a friend or something like that. Yeah, so just a tiny bit, a little tiny bit. Yeah, we only need a little bit of nail varnish. And also you need uh, three AA batteries for the uh, nail dryer as well. So I have these nail polishes here that I had in my own collection. And they're pretty nice, aren't they? Yeah, they're, they're, nice they're colors. beautiful colors. So we can mix and match. I also have a few other ones as well that we can play around with later on as well. So these sit in here like so. And then we have to fill this up with water. Yep. Cool, so let's get started. So guys, here is the little beaker that we need to fill with water and I have water here. So I'm just gonna pour some water in. It says to fill it up about three quarters. So a tiny bit more. Yeah, that looks about right. And you place this back on its stand and then you can switch the button on here at the back and there's a little light, if you can see that in here, and that just changes colour, so that's pretty cool, isn't it, Emily? Yeah, it's like a decorative feature. Exactly. So, here we have, I'm going to open up these nail varnishes and put the pots onto our stand. So there's one. What colour are you going to use first, do you think? I think I'm going to go for like a blue and a pink because like they're really colourful and they look really cu cute and yes. beautiful. Okay, and here is the pink. And finally we have like, it's like a pearl white. Ooh, fancy. Mm. I'll put that there too. So we'll just move these out of the way. Now. So what you have to do then guys, use your little droppers. So you take some nail varnish from whatever color you want and then you drop it inside of the water and you just let it settle for just a couple of seconds. And then this little device here, this little pen or stick is what you use to make your design and to move things around. So let's get started. Okay, what color do you want to use first? I think we'll go for some blue, for like some the base color. Blue first, okay. So, okay. I'll Get this going. So you pinch the top, guys, and then release. Ooh. Whoa. And you have then your little dropper is full of nail varnish. Can you see that? So now we're just going to drop some into the water. I really want to see this in action. So you want to make sure you have a full layer. We might need a little bit more. 
just to make it awful. And we don't need bubbles, that's for sure. <laughs> no bubbles allowed. So that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yep. Now, yeah, Emily, there you go. Okay, I'm gonna use some So you need to squeeze the top and then release. So push it down, squeeze and release. There we go. Wow. So you can either do a full drop or just a couple of little drops around. We might need a bit more, guys. Yeah. Oh, it went up very, went up uh, really high. Cool. That's, that's, oh, I'm out of it. Do you want more? Uh, let's try some pearl. Okay, yeah. I'll reach it. Bring it over to you. So maybe just do drops or something. Ooh. It's like silver. Doesn't it? So, there you go guys. As you can see, I'll just lift this up really, really carefully. As you can see, that is what we have inside of our little beaker. So now, we can take our stick, our stirrer, and make some designs. So, there you go. What are you gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna think... No. Kind of like a marble, spiral, spiral marbly effect. That's so cool. I just make it. Whoa. Okay, keep that dropper over it so the excess comes off it. <laughs> Got it? Ooh. <laughs> awesome. I have probably a little dust there. That's so crazy. I've never seen that yeah. this before. It's really cool. It's very different, isn't it? Yeah. So it's kind of like a marbly tie-dye effect. But the nail varnish just kind of glides around the water. It's awesome. Okay. Let's leave that there. Now, we need fingernails. Fingernails. So, um, I think you could probably put one or two nails in at the same time. But I'm gonna have to get some tissue paper. So, yeah. stand by. We have to get tissue paper. <laughs> so guys, I'm back and I have tissue paper and I have wet wipes and you might also need some nail varnish remover as well and some cotton buds too. That's what it says on the instruction. So Amelie is gonna dip her four fingers in here and we're gonna have some awesome colorful painted nails. Some tie dye nails. Yes, okay, let's go. So to keep your thumb out of the way maybe yeah. and just put your fingers like that, look, exactly, so just all in and out and put your hands here. Oh, <laughs> you got your fingers more so than anything else, didn't it? Oh my god, look, my <laughs> pinky's pretty good, my pinky. <laughs> so guys, you're going to just have to wipe away a lot of a the lot. excess. Careful. Right, so throw your hand in the drawer and just press down. <laughs> Do they feel? Is it work? Do you think it's drying? Is there air blowing on your fingers? Yeah. I'm also like too ready to go in like here. It's not getting your nail though, no? It might take a few minutes for you to do it. Yeah. Take it out with someone? Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. Yeah, okay, let me have a look. Yeah, guys, so this is Amelie's hand right now. It's not very. And it's not really super good right now, but 
what I'll do is I'll tidy it up and I'll get some nail varnish remover and remove it from her fingers. Yeah, because it kind of it kind of looks like like a unicorn exploded. Yeah, yeah it does. <laughs> so we need to fix all this up and just have her nails painted, not her entire fingers. But yeah. that's the only thing because when you're dipping them in, it gets your whole finger. Gets kind of. Um, so what we'll do is let's try one of these guys. Yeah. Without. So we'll have one here on its own. So we're going to use one of these and let's dip it in and see how that turns out. Oh. Ooh. There you go now. What do you think of that? It's really cool. But there's so much excess on the back. So much. Okay, let's take one of these ones maybe off here and go over to the pink and dip it in the pink. So there you can see guys, we did a little bit of dipping of the false nails. So that's kind of cool. I think we may have a little bit too much nail varnish inside of the, the beaker. Yeah, the beaker. But we'll be able to clean that up. So there's just an idea of what you can do. So it's pretty cool. But it is very messy. Yeah, it's very messy. Though. Very, very messy. It's stuck on the back of my fingers. Yeah, because when you dip your finger in, and even if, you, even if you had just the false nail on your nail, and you're still gonna get it on the back of your finger. Yeah. So, yeah. It is quite messy, guys, but again, messy is fun. And um, we'll be able to take it all off with nail varnish remover, so that's okay. Yeah. Cool. So guys, here is Amelie's finished hand. As you can see, we kind of have like a marble effect going on on her nails. Um, it's quite messy, so you definitely need some help to clean it off. And you'll also need um, some nail varnish remover and some cotton wool or cotton pads and also some Q-tips as well. Um, because it does get quite messy, yeah. doesn't it? It does get quite... Sticky. Sticky. But it was fun. We did have fun, didn't we? Yeah, we had lots of fun making these beautiful designs. Exactly. So you have the choice then to experiment with loads of different colours and uh, also different styles and designs in the water that you can play around with and have loads of fun. Loads of fun. Buckets of fun. Buckets of fun. So there you have it guys, there was the Project MC Squared H2O Nail Science Kit that we had so much fun playing with today, didn't we Emily? Yeah, I loved it, so much fun, in fact, buckets of fun! Yeah, and show everyone your nails. They're all cool and marvelly. Very pretty. So you guys can have so much fun making loads of different designs and patterns and mixing up all the different colours you like as well. So we hope you have enjoyed watching this video today, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also check us out on our Instagram page. It's called Little Kelly and Pixies Toys. And until next time, guys, from me and Emily, we'll see you again soon. Bye, guys.